Marmon Motor Car Company was an American automobile manufacturer founded by Howard Carpenter Marmon and owned by Nordike Marmon and Company of Indianapolis, Indiana, U.S. It was established in 1851 and was merged and renamed in 1933. They produced cars under the Marmon brand. It was succeeded by Marmon Harrington and later the Marmon Motor Company of Denton, Texas. The name currently survives through the Marmon Group of Chicago, Illinois. Topic Marmon Cars Marmon's parent company was founded in 1851, manufacturing flour grinding mill equipment and branching out into other machinery through the late 19th century. Small limited production of experimental automobiles began in 1902, with an air-cooled V-twin engine. An air-cooled V4 followed the next year, with pioneering V6 and V8 engines tried over the next few years, before more conventional straight-engine designs were settled upon. Marmons soon gained a reputation as reliable, speedy upscale cars. The original Nordike and Marmon Plant 1 was at the southwest corner of Kentucky Avenue and West Morris Street. Plant 2 was at the southwest corner of Drover and West York Street. Plant 3 was a five-story structure measuring 80 by 600 feet parallel to Morris Street now Eli Lilly and Company Building 314. The Marmon assembly plant was built adjacent to the Morris Street property line with Plant 3 behind and parallel to it also part of the Eli Lilly complex. The Model 32 of 1909 spawned the Wasp. The Wasp, driven by Marmon engineer Ray Haroon a former racer who came out of retirement for just one race, was the winner of the first ever Indianapolis 500 motor race, in 1911. This car featured the world's first known automobile rear view mirror. The 1913 Model 48 was a left hand steering tourer with a cast aluminum engine and electric headlights and horn, as well as electric courtesy lights for the dash and doors. It used a 573 in 3, 9,382 cc, 4.5 times 6 inch, 114 times 152 mm T head straight 6 engine of between 48 and 80 horsepower, 36 and 60 kilowatts, with dual plug ignition and electric starter. It had a 145 in 3683 mm wheelbase long for the era and 36 times 4 and a half inch 91 times 11.4 cm front 37 times 5 inch 94 times 12.7 cm rear wheels which interchanged front and rear and full elliptic front and 3 quarters elliptic rear springs like most cars of the era, it came complete with a tool kit. In Marmon's case, it offered jack, power tire pump, chassis oiler, tire patch kit, and trouble light. The 48 came in a variety of models: two, four, five, and seven passenger tourers at $5,000, seven passenger limousine at $6,250, seven passenger landaulet at $6,350, and seven passenger Berlin limousine at $6,450. By contrast, a Colt runabout was $1,500, an Enger $42,000, an American's base model was $4,250. The 1916 Model 34 used an aluminum straight six, and used aluminum in the body and chassis to reduce overall weight to just 3,295 pounds. A Model 34 was driven coast to coast as a publicity stunt, beating Irwin Cannonball Baker's record to much fanfare. New models were introduced for 1924, replacing the long-lived Model 34, but the company was facing financial trouble, and in 1926 was reorganized as the Marmon Motor Car Co. In 1929, Marmon introduced an under $1,000 straight-eight car, the Roosevelt, but the stock market crash of 1929 made the company's problems worse. Howard Marmon had begun working on the world's first V16 engine in 1927, but was unable to complete the production 16 until 1931. 
By that time, Cadillac had already introduced their V16, designed by ex Marmon engineer Owen Knacker. Peerless, too, was developing a V16 with help from an ex Marmon engineer, James Bohannon. The Marmon 16 was produced for three years. The engine displaced 491 in cubed 8.0L and produced 200 horsepower, 149 kilowatts. It was an all-aluminum design with steel cylinder liners and a 45 degrees bank angle. Marmon became notable for its various pioneering works in automotive manufacturing. For example, it is credited with having introduced the rear view mirror, as well as pioneering the V16 engine and the use of aluminum in auto manufacturing. The historic Marmon Wasp race car of the early 20th century was also a pioneering work of automobile engineering, as it was the world's first car to use a single-seater construction layout. <laughs> Marmon Harrington While the Marmon Company discontinued auto production, they continued to manufacture components for other auto manufacturers and manufactured trucks. When the Great Depression drastically reduced the luxury car market, the Marmon Car Company joined forces with Colonel Arthur Harrington, an ex-military engineer involved in the design of all-wheel drive vehicles. The new company was called Marmon Harrington. Marmon Harrington got off to a successful start by procuring contracts for military aircraft refueling trucks, 4x4 chassis for towing light weaponry, commercial aircraft refueling trucks, and an order from the Iraqi Pipeline Company for what were the largest trucks ever built at the time. In addition to large commercial and military vehicles, company leaders recognized a growing market for moderately priced all-wheel drive vehicles. This gave birth to the Marmon Harrington Ford. The installation of all-wheel drive to commercial truck chassis is the primary focus of the Marmon Harrington Company today. In the early 1960s, Marmon Harrington was purchased by the Pritzker family and became a member of an association of companies which eventually adopted the name the Marmon Group. In 2007 the Pritzker family sold a major part of the group to Warren Buffett's firm Berkshire Hathaway, for the 1993 Indianapolis 500, to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Marmon Group of Companies, Eric Bachelart drove a tribute to the Marmon Wasp, actually a year-old Lola with Buick Power, which was incompetitive and failed to qualify. After qualifications ended, the sponsorship was transferred to the car of John Andretti, who was driving for A.J. Foyt Enterprises. Andretti started 23rd and briefly led before eventually finishing 10th. <laughs> Notable Marmon drivers Actor Francis the Tenth Bushman, at the height of his movie fame in the 1910s owned a custom-built purple-painted Marmon. Other actors who were owners of Marmons include Wallace Reed, Douglas Fairbanks and Arthur Tracy. Statesman and national hero of Finland Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim's representational car was a Marmon E75. Much later the same car was bought by a group of technology students. It is still today the representational car of the Alto University Student Union after considerable repairs. The name Marmon is in Finland to some extent coupled to this specific vehicle. J. Horace McFarland, president of the American Civic Association, owned a Marmon. In 1924, he wrote to John Grise of the National Bureau of Standards Division of Building and Housing that his Marmon cost nine cents a mile to operate. Independent of the chauffeur, Jan Warrick and George Voskovec, Czech actors and leading members of Osvobozine de Vadlo, noted their travels to Nuremberg by Marmon Carr. In his memoir, The Cruise of the Rolling Junk, F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote about a 1,200 mile automobile trip to the south that he and Zelda Fitzgerald took in their used 1918 Marmon Speedster. 
In 1916–17, Ruby Archambault of Portland, Oregon became the first woman to drive the circumference of the United States. Her vehicle was a Marmon. Advertisements See also List of automobile manufacturers Homer B. Roberts <laughs>